Yes, bro. Boys and bobs. Boys you know, and I actually don't need any help filming. I just want someone to go on the sesh with. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go to Memento tonight. Here's the crib. The air conditioning's absolutely freezing, which is great. Of course. Very nice. Wow, look at this. Full moon as well. Wow. Oh, yeah, so in the pictures, this wasn't there. This was like just all like view. Landscape. To be fair, that's absolutely sick. That's... What's it called? Mount Concha. Yeah, La Concha. <laughs> La Concha. Lovely orange light. That light's sick. Uh, corridor. Decent corridor. Decent corridor. Louis' room. Louis' room. Nice. The beds are so comfy. They like have this mattress oh. on top of. Wow. Fuck me. One of the best. One of the best mattresses I've slept on. I've done a lot of travelling. Nice little bathroom. This is yours. Wow. It's actually sick, man. Nice. Okay. This is modern. Mike's bedroom's a mess. Yeah. Unlike Mike. Very nice. Muy bien. Decent whip, that. It's all right. It's all right. First time me ever driving a BMW. <laughs> Looks sick to me. God, what a vibe. Oh, you got the fast one. I'll be having a shot on the way home. Will you? Look at this. Just reminds me of the good old days. Uncle Mike loves a two-seater convertible. Eh, best thing ever. Oh! Oh! Why have you chosen this specific restaurant? I don't know, just as like sick little meals like salmon fillet, chili con carne. Chili burgers. con carne? Yeah. We came just for the chili con carne, guys. Prawn pill pill. Looks lovely. Uncle Mike's got a Thai beef salad. Still a very Thai. <laughs> what are our plans for this next couple of days? Take lots of photos. In the, show, in the shorts. New shorts. Three new shorts. Nice. And then go to some cool places I've never been to before. Nice. Eat lots of nice food. Train, be healthy. Be healthy. We've also got Thai red curry. Mike's got a nice log of salmon. Oh, yeah. With some teriyaki sauce. Delicious. The main event is the omelet, so like pretty much everything is dedicated to the omelet. That is literally, I could predict everything that would be in this fridge. That was actually a gift. Fuck. Protein must have unbelievably pang. I got a few. Did it? <laughs> right guys, I'm literally so so full. That meal, what was that place called? Urban. Urban Bar Bistro. 70 euros, and me and Mike both had two main courses each. So it's far more affordable than a Aviva. That's one thing that I've noticed about being a Marbella. And now, before we go to bed, Mike has got me a couple of gifts here. We'll have Cruisley, which is literally so good. And my all time favorite chocolate pick. With some Corley as well. <laughs> Corley! <laughs> okay, guys, good morning. Had a wonderful sleep last night, 74% recovery. The sun is shining in Marbella. I don't know why, but the weather is different to Ibiza. I think I actually prefer it here in Marbella. Normally in Ibiza, there's like a, a mist in the sky. Look at La Concha, looking absolutely sick. Me and Mike are gonna climb that in about half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> no, not really. Probably die in the, in the August heat. But what we are gonna do is we're gonna eat an omelette that Uncle Mike has kindly prepared for me upon waking up. Bit of a mushed omelette, but just like the old days, the only thing it's missing is 10 cloves of garlic. Yeah, no garlic today. Why not? Because there was no point going to the supermarket and buying a big fucking pack of garlic just to you. Fair. Where are we off to? Where are we off to? We're off to the uh, home department store to get some new shelves for Louis' bedroom. <laughs> now we're going to Elements Gym. Previously, Ultimate Performance. But one of our good friends, Elliot Upton, has taken it over and is turning it into a bit of a sick gym, to be fair. Here it is. 
That will be your waiter for today. We've got cappuccino, americano. Both of us are a little bit constipated, but we won't be after this. Are you constipated as well? I feel like I need it. <laughs> right, guys, so we're here, Elements Gym. As Mike said, our good friend Elliot owns it. If you ever come to Marbella, come and check it out. Very, very nice gym. Today, I'm actually not going to be working out. I'm going to be filming for Uncle Mike. Okay guys, so just finished film with Mike in the gym and honestly, it's good to be back. I love being with Mike. He inspires me, he motivates me, he makes me feel good, gives me a kick up the ass to do some work and yeah, I was with Mike the week before my birthday for a whole week. We were together every day just kind of bouncing ideas off each other and Mike for me, as you guys know, biggest role model, big shout out to Uncle Mike for always just helping me throughout my life. There he is! <laughs> Sport individuals, sport. Now we'll go sport, sport plus. plus. Uncle Mike's let me drive the car. Luckily, he took out the full insurance, and I have my own comprehensive insurance in Spain anyway. But um, yeah, I'm very excited to drive this two seater Z4 M40i. We're going to go now to IO Club to get a protein shake. Mike's been desperate to show me this place, he's obsessed with it. 45 euros for a day pass. <laughs> yeah. So it's a premium place. My man from Qatar with his. Purple Lambo just parks in the middle of the street. <laughs> Not half, in a parking space. Half of it on a zebra crossing, half of it off. Sound. <laughs> Doesn't give a fuck. We love premium places. This is a very premium place. But it's not expensive price. Is it not? No, it's like fair. So in Ibiza. In Ibiza? In Ibiza. Is it Ibiza or is it Ibiza? I'd be fuck. Ibiza. I think it's Ibiza. Ibiza. In Ibiza. A protein shake from Passion is 16 euros 50. Here they are 10. Nice and this is a premium premium location. I could see myself spending a lot of time here. However, how much is a gym membership? The gym membership, a day pass is 45 euros. A month pass I think is like 200 and something. It's but worth it because like look how nice it is. You can come in for free though. You can play padel. Padel. You can bit padel with the Middle Easterns. Yeah. Let's um, do they love Cadell? Right, let's order a couple of protein shakes and we'll rate it out of 10. And there's what we're getting here. Ah, <laughs> oh, Spain, mate. Nothing better than a wrong order to start the day. <laughs> <laughs> so as always, when in Spain, this is a good thing about being of Cindy is you never get the order wrong. Yeah. But when me and Mike are together, we always seem to get the order wrong. So we have a number of shots here. Let's do this one first. Who knows what this is? Oh, I think that's pure ginger. To it be is. And I think the other one's lemon. <laughs> lemon. Yeah. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, what on earth? <laughs> Oh, it's made my hair stand up. <laughs> Stood it to you. Oh. The first one was pure, pure, pure liquid ginger. <laughs> and the second one was pure liquid lemon. But it was nice. Let's give this a try. It tastes the health. <laughs> it's an earthy one. God, it's so good having the top down. It really is. I guess we I wanted to find a, like, a quaint place and I think we found it. Looks absolutely stunning. <laughs> Somehow. Decent grass. Whoever the gardener is, he needs a raise. Because <laughs> that's the best grass I've seen for a long time. We love the grass. Good grass. Iced coffee. We're confused because it feels kind of suspiciously light. Mm. 
give it a try. Mm. It's good. It's not the worst. But Spain is not the place for a good iced coffee. <laughs> Basically, all we're doing today is we're getting jacked, which we've already done. Now we're getting tanned. As you can see, we're in the process of that. And then later, we're going to shoot some photos for some new shorts. But first, some fam somehow tracked me down. <laughs> <laughs> Privado, Privado. Can we have a picture? Yeah. Do you want it through the fence? <laughs> like I'm in jail. Yeah. It's like Mike's in the zoo. Get a picture with the animal. Yeah. That's all I'm good for. <laughs> <laughs> Family photo. <laughs> first time wearing one of these, the first towel shirts. And honestly, I have to say, I'm very impressed. Quality is amazing. Perfect for just getting out of the pool. Yeah, and it's thick enough to absorb all the sweat, so you can't actually see any sweat patches. Yeah, and look what we have right here. Well, actually, we'll have this. Before we have this, we dip the bread, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, bit of salt, little dippy dip. Unbelievable. You do it, mate. What? You prepare the fish. Thanks. You ready? We're ready. Let's go. Come on. Wow. El hielo, Rafa. El hielo que está ahí para champar. Ahora ya viene la estrella. Toma, hija, el hielo. ¿Vale? There we go. What do you think about that? Very impressed. Looks like a... Green beans. These have got Iberico ham in them. Roast potatoes with rosemary. Sea bass. With sea tomato. bass. Sea bass. Probably my favorite dish, to be honest. So oh. tasty and light. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. I think getting cooked in salt is the best. Rather than grilled. I think that's the best sea bass I've had. So moist. Got my toesies in, didn't I? Why does it look absolutely trash? Let's see. <laughs> sick. sick one. <laughs> Turn around. Right guys, can't say a thing, but we've just had a very successful first campaign. Yeah. Knocked it out in about 45 minutes. Last people in the beach club, driving home, and then we're gonna go and make a plan for tonight. I think we're gonna get on the send. <laughs> <laughs> very, very successful day. I've missed these days, Uncle Mike. Good. This is what we used to literally do. We used to literally travel around the world, go to the gym, and then go to a nice beach club. That beach club was pretty expensive, 95 euros per sunbed. Ended up being about 380 euros for the whole day, so it was worth it though for Mike because he got a full photo shoot for his clothing brand. Yeah, boy, and they didn't give me any shit. Yeah, and they didn't tell us off using the camera, which is always nice because most beach clubs, fancy ones, don't like using the camera. So, Mike's going through the pictures. We're being super productive. I'm gonna go for a run, quick 5K. Basically, just so that I can eat more at dinner tonight. And I've just had a massive bowl of cereal and I feel a little bit guilty. I can't believe you eat a bowl of cereal and go for a run. <laughs> So it swishes all around in my tummy. <laughs> By the way, it's exactly nine o'clock at night and it's still 32 degrees. It's absolutely boiling. So we'll be taking it nice and easy. Let's go.
Okay guys, so that's about it all. Haven't ran for probably about a week. 5K, 28 minutes. Very happy with that. Now, gonna have a shower, probably edit some pictures for Mike, and then we'll go for a nice dinner. Very nice evening. Okay folks, so I'm actually feeling very, very good after my run. Pouring myself some electrolytes. As you can see, on the other side, in the other glass, we have some greens. Now, for the first time in a long time, I traveled to Marbella with only hand luggage. So I packed these. This is, if it focuses, this is a greens stick, and this is a, please focus, hydration stick. Very handy for traveling with hand luggage. So, we're gonna do both at the same time. Greens on the left, hydration on the right. No, I'm joking, we'll do the greens first. Lime flavor, unbelievable. Oh, and the hydration, sour patch, red berry, unbelievable. Right, so we're back again on the same street as last night. It's very, very tempting to go to the same restaurant again because they have very good options on the menu. It's very affordable, but I don't no, know. The, no, the problem is everything closes at 11 now. It's fucking 10 30. Wow. That one's open till 12. By the way, I've burned over a thousand calories today. Normally, if you go to the gym and go for a run, you always burn over a thousand calories. It makes you feel so good. And you can pretty much eat whatever you want. Yeah, but when you eat a big bowl of cereal before the run, the run is pretty much pointless. Mm. <laughs> Where are we going tonight? We're going to try to go somewhere different and experiment because Marbella is such a huge place. So, we're going to go to the same place as yesterday. <laughs> okay, so we've got some chicken wings and Mike has <laughs> an absolute classic once again. I love You it. love fish. What a fishy man. I'm Chicken and fish. Rarely have beef. Chicken and fish. And I've got a little pad thai coming up. Ooh. Bid biddly boo. Ooh. How you doing, big boy? How you doing there, big boy? So, it's a full moon tonight, right, guys? And whilst we're having dinner, this tree just fell down. And me and Mike are just talking about how interesting trees are. Yeah, they are mad. Like, that is mad. They're just living, just sucking up everything from the earth and then making their own food from the sun. It's pretty crazy if you ask me. But anyway, the food was delicious once again. The pressure is on. Okay, guys, this is how to park a BMW Z3 with Mikey T. See, the key is to drive as fast as you can into that door. <laughs> a very good morning, day two in Marbella. Mike has had an omelette for breakfast, but yesterday Mike's omelette didn't have enough carbohydrates for me to get a good enough workout in. So, I'm gonna have a big acai bowl, lots of sugar, lots of carbohydrates. Zero protein. Zero protein, and then we're gonna go to Club Padel. There you go. Is that what we came in here for? <laughs> South. South, south, south. Classic Spanish iced coffee. I don't know why they just, why, why can't they just pour it in? Show us how it's done. Well, fast. The key's not to spill. Oh, that's a good one. There you go, enjoy your iced coffee. Okay, folks, so it's just gone 12 o'clock. I am breaking the fast with a high. Bye. What? I had a cereal bar this morning <laughs> on the way here. Is your chip in there, pal? Crying baby, aka worst way to start the day ever. So what we have is some whole grain toast. Mike told me to get whole grain because it's more, it's got more fiber in it basically, so I'm going to be fuller for longer. It help with the old bowel movements as well. Jam and butter. Me and Mike, finally, our constipation is gone. That's good news. <laughs> Went at 4 a.m. last night. And then we have a delicious acai bowl here. I'm going to give it a little try. good one. It's a very good one. Mmm. 
God. I'm not shy with the portions, are they? God, look at that. Mmm. Perfect pre workout meal. Mmm. And we'll be having approximately 10 to 15 grams of protein in total today. <laughs> and no sun cream. And no sun cream. Right, guys, we are carved up, ready to hit the gym. What we're going to hit? We're just going to do some sparring for two hours. Okay, shadow, shadow, shadow boxing. boxing yeah. And then, what after that? Maybe some mobility? <laughs> yeah, you teach me your mobility moves from yesterday. <laughs> I was just doing a bit of sunbathing, I looked up and then Louis was doing a down with dog with his ass in my face. Now it's just stretching the hip flexors. Where are we now? Real Club Padel. Padel, vamos. <laughs> So we are here at the gym and it's probably the busiest gym that I've ever been to in my life. It's actually giving me like anxiety. Not really the type of vibe to film in. But we're gonna smash. Well yeah. We're smashing on session and then head to a beach club. As you can see that acai balls brought out all the striations in the mm -hmm. muscles. Obviously they're filled with glucose. Oh. Better than the lack of pump yesterday, hey? It certainly is. Do you want to do it? We'll do it. Well, I'm doing it. Don't really want to do it, but we're doing Dorian 8 style training. Yeah. So basically, the overall volume is less. We do like a warm up set, a working set, but it's not to like crazy failure, but the last set is pure all out disgustingness with assisted reps until you literally can't do anymore. Sounds like an absolutely terrible idea to me. Next exercise is a bicep pull up, focusing on the biceps. Don't know if I can do this, but we'll try. Yeah. Yes, squeeze your biceps to the top. Feel it. Squeeze the biceps hard at the top. Yes. Squeeze them hard. Fuck me, that is hard. Oh my god, look at it. What a big worm that is. God, it was a bit more pumped before. Jeez. Tell them what you did there quickly. So I went to failure doing the normal reps, and then as soon as you can't pull yourself up anymore, jump up off the platform, get yourself into the top position, lower yourself, four second negative. Easy as that. Oh my god, that is so heavy. Let it rest at the bottom and then power up. Oh, there we fuck. go. Oh. Easy. Oh. Oh.
finished. Wow, a little bit of a vibe. Okay, so swim short of choice today is first times paint the mare collaboration. Very nice. Very premium material. It is luxury. This is luxury. God, if only you guys could feel this. Very sick. Set you back 200 euros there. Well. So better off just get a pair of these. I came matching the umbrellas today on the beds. The colour scheme's a little bit off, but it's the thought that counts. Are they new then ones? Yeah, these came out about a month or so ago. The pinstripe came out last year when we were in Capri. That was a lighter colour. These are the navy blue. Very nice, very sophisticated. Cheers to that, bro. Smash! Undercover boss. He's actually the boss of the beach club. Up. So I'm what, his Jeffrey then. What's your uh, What's your name? My name's Jack. Is this going anywhere? Yeah. Now it's, we're gonna literally video the just whole day. Video it and then just and then look at it. it at home. Yeah. yeah delete it. Another laugh. Where did we go yesterday? I think uh, quarters in yesterday. So we've got a. Uh, you gotta be better. You gotta yeah, be better. Don't worry, don't worry. No pressure. Yesterday we got free massages, free food. Free yeah, food. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, already the humour and the service is definitely better than yesterday because yesterday, God. Asked the guy, what does the sea bass come with? And he was like, don't know. And I was like, but you work here and you've just asked us what our order is. <laughs> Little did we know the sea bass actually comes with one half of a tomato. <laughs> Sounds like a job, we ordered tight. Four ton padel, sick gym, sick environment. The machines are good, there's trees in the gym. It's a little bit of a vibe, but just don't go at midday when there's so many people. And like for me, just big, scary bodybuilders. It's kind of ruined my vibe, so. <laughs> Mike says he's been in the morning before, so I reckon either go late at night or early in the morning. You're gonna be, there's not gonna be so many people and it's just gonna be a little bit of a better vibe. But, we've done Elements, we've done Padel. Tomorrow we're doing Ayo. Yeah, boy. All the gyms in Marbella are sick. That's why most people come here to Marbella because the gym scene is very good, much like Dubai. Yeah. So, I mean, it'd be for a holiday gym. I just like it because there's no one there and it's empty and you have the whole gym to yourself all day, every day. Have you not tried any yet? No. You went for me? Yeah. Right, wait, let's both try it together, simultaneously. Oh, that's a lot of soy sauce. Need the sodium. Mm. Very good. Next, the inside out salmon. The inside out salmon. Very, very good. Wow. That is a good one. This one, top, top. Pineapple. This one, oh, Pineapple. That is mango. Get that in your face. Mmm. Nice one. Beach club is empty now, it's seven o'clock, so I reckon shoot photos for half an hour, and then we'll be on our way home, get an ice cream from the garage. Literally just repeat the same day as yesterday, but in different locations. What was better, today's sea bass or yesterday's sea bass? I enjoyed the meal more yesterday. Yeah, it was just more, more well structured. Let me see, boss man. Why? Why would you do that? Okay guys, so keeping up the good routine, going for another 5K. Just gone nine o'clock, 32 degrees still. So it's very, very hot, but there's nothing better than hitting the gym and going for a run on the same day. I'm not gonna video it today because I'm gonna run the exact same route as yesterday and I don't wanna bore you guys. So, vamos, let's go. Okay folks, so four kilometers in, I'm just reflecting as we come to the end of our trip with Uncle Mike. Just want to say a big shout out to Uncle Mike for flying me out to Marbella, getting me involved, 
helping him make some content, getting me back into a good routine. Gym, running, eating healthy, doing lots of work. That's what it's all about. So feeling very, very happy, very grateful to have Uncle Mike in my life. Top, top lad. And um, yeah, we're filming a really cool video tomorrow in the gym with a couple of young lads. And then after that, I'll be flying back to Ibiza. But my bear has been amazing. Restaurants, beaches, gyms, very nice vibe. The weather's amazing. And yeah, I'll definitely be back. So make sure to click the links down below in the description. Ghost, Whoop, Legend London, Blue Man. Support your boy. And uh, catch you in the next one.